so i've been seeing this post rallies going on especially in the uk about we want our country back we want to take over our country so i'm wondering who are they referring to who is taking your country from you who the earlier you realize that immigrants are not your problem the better at least the legal immigrants we work here we pay our taxes we contribute to the society so how are we the problem the earlier you realize that we cannot survive without each other this whole world does not belong to anybody we all die one day and we'll leave everything the better it is not easy for somebody and i know you westerners most of you cannot even do that i've had colleagues telling me that oh you i cannot even imagine myself leaving my country leaving my family to work elsewhere yes you said who forced you here nobody forced us here but i'm telling you it is a very hard thing to do to leave your own people your own country your where you are used to and migrate to an entirely different country where you have to learn their ways learn their cultures learn to do things their way where you are considered a second class citizen where before you can get work to do before you can you, you can be at par with with, with the citizen is a very hard task to do you would always be considered a second class citizen before you can find an opportunity, a citizen will have found hundreds of opportunities, which is fine, it's your country. But remember, you also came to our country years back. You colonized us, you took our resources, you did everything, you took away some of our, our resources, you took everything away from us, and we didn't say go back to your country then. Even up till now, the contractors in my countries that does road, they are Westerners. My country pays thousands of dollars to them to get this done. People, people from, from the Western world, so many people come to our country, they open countries, they, they open they open companies, they open so many things, they come to our country, they and some of them don't even pay tax because the government is not is not is not functioning in that regard. Some of them are not even, maybe some do. And they, 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 are, they, are, they, are, they are, they are making profit, especially Africans. So many Western, Western people have, have, have businesses there. Did we say pack up and go to your country? No. And then we come and we are regarded as second-hand citizens. Before we get it, so people have masters, they even have PhD, but what will they do? They can only find a care job, work to do. When they apply in so many good co co companies, what they get is unfortunate emails. Even some of them, most of them are even overqualified for the job, but they do not get it. They settle for less. I'm not trying to run down a care work job or any kind of other many jobs. They are works and they are professions and people need to do them. Yes, I know that. But I'm saying that the certificate does not tally with the kind of work most immigrants do, but we still do it because circumstances has forced us here. Destiny has forced us here because... So many things happen, our, our government might, might, not, might not be doing something right or is not doing something right, and we are seeking for greener pasture security, something else. And that is why most of us are sought for greener pasture and still we are being treated. As, but you came to our own country, you, 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 stole, you took so many things from us, you did. And even up till now, you are still doing. So many companies are there in, in Africa, from, from, yes. So the earlier we realize that we cannot do without each other in this world, we need each other to survive, the better for us. Thank you and peace out.